Hello everybody, welcome back again into the single player world. Today we stand on top of the city, in fact on a brand new spot because we're taking a little bit of a step away from the palace today in a very weird way actually, that's all loading in. I've just bumped up the render distance, I was playing on stupidly low, it looked really weird from up here so I thought let's, let's get a bit of a view to start off the episode. Now what we are doing today is we are trying to get this area going up to the palace to be nice and finished, because we've had some real ugly pieces now, and I'm about to show you, by the way, uh, what we have done up till now and what we are going to be doing. You can see a little bit of it, and this is just the way we're starting today. We've got a lot more to go. Now, in the last episode, uh, we, we managed to go ahead and do a bunch of recording of time lapses of things like that. And uh, this is no exception today. We, we I thought we may as well incorporate that a little bit. Every now and then I go go through a replay mod binge. It's it's a really cool, <laughs> overly overly useful tool. Uh, now, what I want to do is I want to go over here because this will be a good spot to explain what we are doing and uh, how we got there, of course. I thought, you know what, may as well. Some people enjoy seeing, seeing stuff done ridiculously fast and <laughs> over a bit of a time lapse. It's interesting to see the thought process, I guess, of getting this little piece here. So what I've done is I want to fill up this area right over here between the palace and the rest of the city. And we have since the, actually it was I think two streams ago, uh, which is before the last episode came out, we have put in this little piece here, which is just a neat little way to connect up to the palace. And you can see there's a little bit left over here before we connect up to the very front of the palace. So that's a bit of stuff to do, but that's not what we're doing today. Today we're doing on the other side and we're going to get a very cool looking spire with a future bell tower and get a little bit of an area here. I'm, I'm guessing this is probably going to be quite an open area here where we will have, for instance, a carriage or something along that uh, those lines in there. So how about we get into the actual, the thinking behind why this area is here. So in this area uh, that I've just built, this big, it's a big circle. It's, it's actually, I think, I think we've pulled it off really well. Uh, with this, we've got the entrance from the docks to that side of the city. So you have to go from the docks all the way out that way. You, you know what? We, we're almost there. We may as well just just do a little bit of a a little bit of a, a walk over here. So from all the way here, we're going to have to get ourselves to the the other end of the city and eventually past that past that part of the palace. Just keep it going. You know, the city's going to be huge in in terms of our idea of it. Uh, we've got we've got a lot of stuff on the other side of the palace, in my mind at least, currently. What? What that? Yeah, they they move really fast on these slabs. Uh, okay, I don't know what my health is at. <laughs> Let's just go F1. I liked it off. Okay, uh, you buddy, get in the sun, get in the sunlight. There you go. All right, we're safe. <laughs> yeah, they move stupidly fast on this stuff here. So what I was saying was uh, with this here, I think I was going on this. One. I can't even remember that skeleton put me off. Put me off my uh my ideas. Uh, but what we were doing is uh, we were trying to get this over here to connect from the docks to here and eventually get stuff to the other side of the city. So we may very well have this road split off in this direction. And it may feel like uh, it's, it's supported right now by these pillars. It's going to look like it's part of the ground. That's the idea of it. It's just a matter of us getting, getting all this stuff in and then we'll fill in this side as well. Get some of these projects together. You know, we've left them for so long. We might as well get them to work together and, and start merging in with one another. So that's what I'm doing today. And also, the other thing is, of course, with uh, with 1.13 approaching just around the corner, uh, we, we are ridiculously close to, to having a lot more stuff, a lot more different stuff uh, to do. And that is... Well, that may necessarily mean that we'll neglect a few areas in this place. And I don't want to see this place full of holes and, and gaps for too much longer. We've had it there for too, too long with these pieces missing. I think we may as well get it all fixed up, up to there. And then we can say we've cl we've covered up a whole area. You know, we've, we've finished it off properly and we don't have little loose ends. I think that's that's the word I'm looking for, loose ends. We don't want that. We want them all, all tied off nicely. And I mean, hey, it's episode, is this episode 135? I think it is. We've got a world tour coming up in, in five episodes as well. So, I mean, hey, maybe we have a world that's completely completed up to that point uh, for the for the download, which people people love to see. And I, I would really not want to give you guys a world that looks kind of ugly in that way. So so that's definitely something, and a good reason at least, for us to to move over, let alone all the, all the stuff we're going to be getting up to after that. That's a whole other story. Uh, so, by the way, I hope, uh, I hope this little clip has been cool, splitting across the two things. I, I'm not too sure how it's turned out, obviously, because I'm busy doing it right now. But I think I think it'll be pretty neat to maybe do certain things like that, because I end up doing the work. I just, I feel like it's, it normally goes to waste, but I, I guess it could look kind of cool to leave that stuff in there every now and then. So uh, let me know, of course, if you guys do like that, because 
that's what we did in the last episode. It seemed to work pretty well. It seemed like a lot of people really enjoyed that episode, despite the fact that that episode was uploaded twice because uh, because of I actually don't know. <laughs> uh, so if if anyone was wondering and maybe hasn't seen the last episode, uh, we did a little bit of a different setting of episode. We we formatted it a little bit differently. We did different things to what we normally do just to to play around with different ideas. Really, well, uh, there we go uh, of making episodes, and I think it, it worked pretty well. The only thing was when we uploaded it to YouTube. For some unknown reason, it just was not playable. And it appears that a few other people on that day had that issue on their videos. I did not want to get rid of that. Uh, a few people had that issue on their videos. So it wasn't just me. I think it was just a, a YouTube issue. I deleted it, re-uploaded it. But by that time, it was already pretty late in the day. And I was like, you know, a lot of people are just going to miss this. I may as well just wait for the next day. So we did that and we uploaded it. And uh, it seems seems to have gone very, very well. So that was great. That's always good news when, when something a little bit different gets into it. I think that's that's super awesome. But that's enough of that. I think we've done pretty well here. I'm just going to go ahead and do some more layers of this over here where we just texturing it in. It's actually, it's looking a lot better than it looked at the end of me just making it before I started texturing. So that's, that's a bonus. And also these little pieces where we're on the half slab, like here we are, come with the plain stuff. I think it's actually working all right, surprisingly as well. I think I just need to put a bit more, a bit more stone brick in there. So that's Narrator. what we up to. Whoa. Narrates all. This guy freaks me out. Narrates chat. <laughs> uh, Narrator, I feel like I can't go a day recently without hearing this guy. The voices change, which is even freakier because I'm not used to it now. Uh, it used to be, it used to be like a, a girl's voice that was very high pitched. Now we've got this guy with this super deep voice. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> a new friend of mine. So what I need to do now is I want to plan out a bit more of this. Get the spire done, and then what we're going to do, once we've got this spire, we're going to be building a, a fairly large, it's going to be a good view from the front here, and I, I think actually that will be a good, cool little spot to go look at right now, with the sun going down, and not only that, it also is the is the picture I'm thinking of in my head at least. We'll stop on this flag here. So picture this, we've got this very large castle over here, palace, not castle, palace, right there. Imagine a cool tower, just breaking it up so we don't see everything being completely symmetrical. We see the tower being broken and breaking it up there. It'll probably go fairly high and that'll just make the city, I think, a lot different from a, a basic just mess of houses on the same or like roofs on the same level. I think that's the most important thing about that. So that's a future project, of course, not today's project. Today we're getting this set up so we can do the future project. But tell me what you think of that idea. I think it's going to be a pretty cool thing. Oh, it's looking very different right now. I didn't actually speak about what we're going to do. So here it is, pretty much because I actually didn't have too much of an idea as to exactly what I wanted to do here. Now, what I've done, and uh, this this is probably going to be a bit more controversial using this thing here, uh, but using this sort of more earthy look, I really want to make it look like this has been dug out and gone around here where we can kind of incorporate some of the land because we actually have pretty much cleared out every bit of natural land from this place to give it the, the I guess, disguise of being part of the, the natural terrain, but it's actually not. Now, from this direction, it actually looks really good. I actually like this angle where it just goes around there, hides behind that little bit of the mountain. I like it quite a lot, and obviously we're going we're gonna to pull it up here, but this is a, a bit more tricky because I have to work out exactly what I want to do. So let's hop over here. Oh, pick that one up. Uh, I need to just work out how I'm going to work it in here. Do I put another house here, cut it off there, or, or what do we do? We'll, we'll work that out in due time. So that's what we're thinking about. Now with this, because I know many people are going to be kind of upset that I've done this, I guess. Uh, I'm, I'm going to I'm going to try and fix it up. We're going to go and add more things to it. Of course, this is just layer one. We like to do layers upon layers upon layers upon layers and, and slowly but surely add more and more things. So I just noticed my mouse is kind of doing some crazy stuff again. Give me one second. I'll fix that up. There we go. Oh, no, don't, don't you take that. <laughs> okay, there we go. So yeah, that, that should be much better. Yeah, that's that feels so much better. I've always got that little mouse thing. I just forget sometimes to to switch it back uh, back to work for me. Uh, so what I've, what I've got here is some ideas of what we're going to do. We're going to be making this place bright, vi vibrant, colorful, whatever you want to call it. We're going to be adding it in here. That's the goal right now. We want to just start adding a few flowers and then going around and making this place super green which I think will be one of the better things to do. So if we go there, maybe add in a little bit more here and just go around with some of these flowers. And I'm not too sure what a good number is to put in these flowers. The idea of this is, is picture a wall where the city was, uh, oh, yeah, I'm going to make sure I don't pick that up. The, the city wanted to make this place prettier. So it just became a big garden. That's what I want to do. Hopefully it's what I do do, but I don't know if it will work. So 
let's test it out in this in this controlled smaller area over here. And I guess I guess some of these these uh, alliums and some of these azure bluets uh, seeds could have blown over from the from the palace over there. We've got so many. It only makes sense that they could have come from there. So how about we drop a few in here and maybe just a few down there and just see how much see how much color this gets in. Because of course the grays, oh man, they they get a bit monotonous and we really don't need that much gray stuff here. We've got enough of it. Okay, this is this is the this is the part where it all hopefully comes together. If it doesn't, we'll we'll just keep going. <laughs> it's, it's all right. We'll figure it out. It's a matter of hopefully just this here. Now, when I was speaking a bit earlier, by the way, about potentially with that 1.13 update coming potentially very soon, uh, it does seem the way. It, we're, we're into the pre-releases for people who don't know, which is generally a good sign. It's generally a few weeks after them, as far as I'm aware. Uh, I, I, know it was this, I know it was sort of like that with the previous few updates, uh, that a few pre-releases went through, and bam, we got it. Normally, I think the most I've seen is three, I think, pre-release three was, I think, 1.11 or 1.9 or something. I don't know, it was, it was in the last world where I actually followed those things. I generally just wait uh, before doing anything, before starting a new world or before updating. I, I generally wait because of the Optifine version not being available. And I love me some Optifine. I can't get enough of it. The sky, the performance. I mean, you can't you can't really be <laughs> too mad with the performance. It's fantastic. But uh, between those two, I, I think it's worthwhile for me to wait and then only make a change to the world if we if we find a new world, if we, for instance, uh, updated our world. It's all dependent on that one mod. There we go. Let's have a look at that. Keep going around that. I end up doing this. I end up spending more energy trying to avoid those things than just picking them up and throwing them away somewhere else. Or actually, you know what would be good is just getting myself flint and steel. That would probably help out quite a bit. You know what? I'm actually liking this. I, I'm liking what's coming on with this, but what I want to do is add in a little bit of support to that mountain. Make mountain the mountain. Why am I saying mountain? Mountain. There you go. Pronounce your T's, Jancy. Uh, the mountain. I want to add in a little bit more support. And I think that's where this over here, this uh, oak wood, oak logs, they will come in very handy. And I probably should just get rid of that. I'll probably just get rid of a few of those. There we go. And oak should be there. Right, getting kind of low on that. I really should do some cutting down. I, I I swear I'm always cutting down trees in this world. <laughs> I could uh, I could tell you majority of my time is just spent on chopping down trees. In fact, while we're up here, okay, it needs a bit of work. And also picture the ba the bell tower on there in the future. I've got a really cool bell design. If you guys haven't seen it, uh, I hopefully will remi remember to put a link in the description. Chances are I won't because this will not be on my mind. But if if I do, uh, there's there's a video I made. Oh man, it was. More, more or less a year and a half ago, a year ago, uh, where I put in a bell tower in my old world. Now, that bell tower, I think we did a fantastic job on the bell. If, if the first video I think I put out, I, I didn't quite fix the, the bell problem. The bell wasn't looking the way I wanted it to look. But when we got the fixed up bell, I think it's like an episode or two later, it, it looks darn good. <laughs> and I think we'll be going for something like that, where we build it and we'll build it around the bell. So we'll have everything we do in this uh, this particular bell tower built around the bell so that we we make that the focal point where we can perhaps show it off to the rest of the city because it will look very, very good from a distance and it'll look very good up close. So we can show it off to the rest of the city. Yeah, adding in this little bit of stuff, it definitely helps out. Maybe a bit more in here. Oh, get rid of that. There we go. And now these, I think putting them also like this emphasizes that uh, it's increasing as you're walking up. So where I've put them there, that one's slightly higher, that one's slightly higher, this one will go slightly higher. We probably need one more in here somewhere to look like it's it's also going up a little bit more. Where is this? One more. There we go. So check that out. As it's going up, that's definitely adding in a little bit more. Finally, we can walk over here again. Definitely adding in a little bit more interest over there. Now, the other thing which we can do is probably add in a bit more of this over here to also give it a bit a bit more of a rougher texture over there. So some of these in here, and that will look though, as though we've supported this thing properly, where we've we've merged in with a bit of the, the rock face to make it look like it's, it's held up. Well, not to make it look up, to actually support it properly. So a bit more in there, a little bit over here. In fact, that will go quite well and around here like that there we go so something like that yeah that works quite well in fact this one needs to go in a bit there yeah now the other thing which we can do is go to these 
and adding in this darker green from the the spruce should add in a bit more a, a bit more variance to all that very bright luscious green it's it's a cool green the the jungle biome is one thing one, one thing i both hate and absolutely love is the very vibrant green sometimes it can it can be a real real uh buzzkill on your your uh gardens because it's just everything is too bright you you want everything to look good and all you see is green but sometimes it can really r add in so much color so much vibrance very quickly and very easily as well so you don't have to be sneaky and start hiding in colors in places that they normally don't work you can you can just put them everywhere so how's that a little bit more i also probably need to get a bit of cobblestone in here at some point we'll do that pillar ourselves up and probably cover the majority of this place in the green stuff over there and get rid of that there 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 and here all right yeah that's looking a little bit better and a bit more up here i think if we can cover that one and then we will cover those this messy look tends to work quite well let's stop up there get me out of here yeah the messy look is definitely what we're going for we've also got this little uh, what would that be called? An, an edge? Really just a, a little bit of a cliff, that's it. A small cliff on there to look as though the rock is is natural because I, I tend to do this quite often where I push it in, only go vertical, and then I end up forgetting until the very end to put in things like this, like cliffs and, and things along those lines where they add in a little bit of a, a little bit of detail, very, very little bit of detail, but enough to really make it look a bit more natural. There we go. We'll get rid of that. Put that there and do those. How does that look? Perfect. All right. I think what we got to do is go ahead, get a bit of cobblestone and also maybe put in a few more man-made looking things. And I've got just the plan for those. Prepare yourself for a, an incoming arrow or maybe one that just misses very narrowly. But I did realize, speaking of sound, that I did not have sound for the last clip. So don't think you guys are going crazy. There wasn't sound. I just put it a bit lower because it was so ridiculously loud outside of uh, the recording. So I forgot to turn it back up, but don't worry about that. That's all right. You weren't missing out on too much. A bit of that. Maybe if I've got any leaves. There we go. Just replay those for however many I've placed those blocks and you should be... Uh, you should have your sound filled sufficiently. Uh, so what I've done to make this place look a little bit better is I've put in the, the cobblestone. I've put in some lamps. That was my my theory. If we can put in some of these little lamps. Uh, I've tried one at an angle. I don't know how much I like it. Uh, it it's got a few, a few weak points, I guess, being that it's at an angle, mostly. Uh, but I think it, it kind of works. It was worth, it, worth an attempt. And besides, it doesn't really look too obvious there. So it, it's not too bad. But of course... Going off straight like this, oh, wait, oh, that that, that explains it. Uh, going off on a on a straight line is obviously way easier, and that's I guess the way that these lamps were designed when we made them uh, quite a while ago, actually now, a fairly long time ago. And if you aren't familiar with them, they are the original lamp that we added into our village over here, well, the the city, uh, as the the main street light, and we've just kept it. In fact, it was on my one of the few tutorials I've ever done or I guess build showcase videos uh, that I've ever done, which was my lamp designs one. And it's, it's for some reason, I just love this lamp. It's just a all round cool lamp. And it's, it, there's nothing really about it that in particular, like I think it's just a simple one. And that's, that's what makes it work. So let's just go down here, add in the last little bit and that there. And then to finish it off, some trap doors, which by the way, 1.13 is coming around as I've mentioned a few times today. I don't know if you've heard, but it's it's coming. And uh, those trap doors, they're looking real good right now. Oh, okay. Zombie, you will probably still make it, right? Yeah. Yeah, of course. Of course. That's fine. I'll take it. So there. There we go. Something like that. And in fact, I think we get rid of this piece here. Make sure we haven't left any hole in there. No. Yeah, that's all right. I like to put in a bit of this fence just to give it the illusion that it's it's got some more finer support in it. Okay, that's it. We're doing this. Uh, just a little bit. Okay, that wasn't intentional, but just a little bit of that maybe or something up there where we can make it look as though it's got some ropes or, or something holding it in with, with more support. That's, that's really the important part. Uh, do I have any... I need a full block there. That's what I need. And, and I guess a stone block would actually work quite well. The brick block. Because it does look as though it is it was built for that. So look at that. 
We can maybe do a tree sort of thing hanging out, like a, a small branch coming out somewhere, but I think that might just be a bit much. Honestly, considering what I'm picturing ahead of us here, with the tower going up there, I don't even know if that, that was just me pillaring up to see stuff, that doesn't mean anything, but the tower going up there, uh, this stuff over here, I kind of like the way it's going. I don't want to go too far on this. We, we can't make everything a masterpiece and have it all, all the attention on the garden. The garden's doing its job. It's just hiding what is ugly and boring underneath here for the, the main work of art that'll be eventually there. So I think that will be a good place to end it, by the way, because we finished with this uh, significantly mediocre looking thing, which I think is exactly what we wanted. The... Uh, the look from over here, in fact, before I go, I always do this, but before I go, I want to show you guys up here. I think this will be a good spot. Look at that. That curvature we've got in there is amazing. And that that's just from, well, I th my opinion, amazing. I really like the way it turned out. And it was uh, surprising that we managed to get it that easy, uh, that right, that easy, I guess. There we go. Perfect. Good landing. Like that. Look at that. Very, very cool. Very, very cool. All just uh, all just through a bit of trial and error. But it looks, I think, very, very well. And it's a lot of work, so if I'm tearing it apart, tell me now, guys. Uh, but what we will do is we'll go, end it, uh, go ahead and end the episode right there. Thank you, everybody, for joining me. I hope you have enjoyed it. I hope you guys are enjoying uh, what's going on here and specifically connecting these two pieces up and hopefully eventually that piece there get this whole thing looking real good. But thank you very much, guys. I will see you in the next one.